everyone. Today we're going to talk about sex after 60. This, this video is going to surprise a lot of my subscribers. It's time to get the truth out there. <laughs> I used to crave sex with my husband. I mean, uh, I could never get enough. Uh, he was a very good lover. Um, but he was also a workaholic, and that was not his priority, if you know what I mean. So, um, so I felt kind of, I don't know, I felt really bad that I wasn't loved physically as much as I wanted. But that's another story. So, the hardest thing about being married and having a family and trying to provide for your family is sometimes it's separating work from like having intimate time with your wife. For example, I'm shooting this video right now and right now me and my wife are supposed to be chilling. She literally just went back upstairs. You know what I'm saying? She was trying to hang out with me. She came down here smelling good. She was wearing some she was wearing some shit now. She was wearing some shit. But I was like, I, I gotta get this video out. I gotta get this video out. When I became single, I've been single since 2013. I've oh been my God. really living by myself since 2007. She's been in them streets. Um, I have found out that sex sucks. It really does. You know why? Because you would think the guys my age would know what to do. Well, let me tell you, they don't. <laughs> couple of the guys just laid in the bed and I thought they were dead. They, they did. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Wait, she said I thought they were dead. A couple of the guys just laid in the bed, and I thought they were dead. They they didn't do anything, you know. It's like I had to take the horse by the reins. Uh, At some point, we all going to get old and we all going to die. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if this is selfish. I don't know how many other, other men think like this. But for me, bro, if, I want, if I'm going to go, I want to go on some pussy. So whether I'm 80, 85, 90, 95... I want to go while hitting some pussy. Kevin Samuels went out like a true champion. He went out smacking some cheeks. They ain't tell us that, but we know what time it was. He had a female over there. He caught a heart attack. Yeah, they, they expect you they th to do everything, and they're acting like there's some Adonis that you should be grateful that you're in the bed with them. Let me tell you, these guys were awful, gross. Uh, a lot of them were, you know, kind of overweight. Damn. And, uh, yeah, sex after 60 sucks. Now, Damn. if you can find a guy that knows at least halfway of what he's doing, you better stay with him, honey, if you're dating, because they are very, very rare. And, uh, so nowadays it is not... The quantity, it's the quality, and that's fine with me. Uh, one reason is because I'm in so much pain, there's no way it would deplete all of my energy. And I I don't know if you know about the spoons, but it's a spoon theory. You should Google that. I only get so many spoons a day, and if I've already used all of them up, I don't have any spoons left for sex. So, um, yeah, the quality is a little bit better if you find somebody who knows what they're doing and you and, and if they are caring and they don't expect you to do all the work yeah then you should be very very grateful and uh i think as the men get older they let their appearance go just like some women when they get older you know they you know don't care what their hair or their nails or their body looks like they're not taking care of their face um same thing with men. I think it's more prevalent with men. Um, I see so many elderly guys. They're in a bad mood. They wear those um, baggy pants and they belt it and they cinch it up. And three inches of the 
of the pants or above the belt. I mean, they just look ridiculous. She talking about the white barbecue masters. They be having the, the orthopedic New Balances on. Y'all know them orthopedic white New Balances. Very few guys dress up anymore, and that is a shame. I am... I have never left my house without my makeup on and without being dressed to the nines. A lot of people say I'm overdressed. Well, that's their problem. I always try to look nice when I leave. So, um, yeah, if sex is a whole different ball game, it's not like it was when you were, you know, a young adult. It is a, a whole new world, actually. And, uh, yeah, you're going to find that a lot of guys have ED. I won't say the word, but you all know what. Me at 60, I'm pulling up to your crib. I had to meet you here today. There's just so many things to say. Please don't stop me. Till I'm through. Mm -hmm. This is something I hate to do. Yeah, I'm pulling up to your spot with that honey pack. Mm. That is because they have abused their body with cigarette smoking and drinking too much over a long period of time. And a lot of them have diabetes and, um, a lot of them are just very sickly, so they can't perform. I used to work at a factory, right? I came in there with this other guy. He was a temp too. He had to have been about 19, 20 years old. And it was a, a lady there. And she was 43 or 44. Now, she was gorgeous. You feel what I'm saying? For her to be 43, 44, she was gorgeous. And then we used to hear stories about her back in the day, how she used to just, like, stop traffic. And I could see that. So anyway, she was she had a husband. She was married. Her husband, I don't know if he had diabetes or he had some type of heart condition. He can't f Like, his thing don't get hard. He can't take no Viagra because there's a chance that it might kill him. So I watched as young boy wiggle his way in, got her open, and was taking that down. He was taking that down on the regular. On the regular. And so um, some of them can get help with their testosterone levels. And I think everybody, all the guys should go to a urologist and get your testosterone levels uh, done because there is a lot of medication out there that will help you guys. I've often wondered if there's a cutoff age for sex. I'm not gonna lie. I know I'm getting older and I want to be forever. But I, is there a cutoff age? I always wondered if there's a cutoff age. You see old ass people <laughs> walking around and they and, and, and they walkers and, and they in their wheelchairs. And I'm like, damn. I wonder when the last time he had some pussy. I got a friend who work at a nursing home. And he was like, they be in a nursing home f***ing. Your grandma and grandpa and, and great grandmother and great grandfathers be in a nursing home f***ing. So apparently there is no cutoff age to get your freak on. I'm not surprised that men after 60 can't hang. I'm telling y'all, I'm pulling up to your house. With the honey pack. And I'm a, I'm a blow the dust off that pussy. Like, 